Hi everyone, Miss Sherry here. I just wanted to say hello, just to let you know I'm okay. I'm hoping you're okay. Um, I hope everything's going well at home for you guys. I also wanted to let you know that I've been thinking about you and praying for you. Um, I can't wait till we're back together again. Hopefully it'll be uh, before we know it. You never know. God's that awesome. He could just make this all go away like that. So that's what I'm praying for. So I just want to say hi. I miss you. I love you. Keep st studying God's word. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Finders. How you doing this week? I hope you're doing well. I've thought about you a lot as this week went by. Um, I even got some mail from a couple of you. Thank you very much. Um, so we had some weird weather. And I'm sure you're kind of feeling cooped up inside and missing your friends. But I wanted to take a chance this week to talk about friendships a little bit. Um, Jesus was a good friend to us. And there are some great verses in the Bible that will help us to talk about friends. And you know, a real friend does not ask you to do things that are wrong. And that's something we're going to look into today. So I have a couple friends here with me that are going to help us uh, answer some questions. If we were here in person with you and me, I'd have you line up uh, either on the agree side or on the disagree side um, to each of these questions, just to kind of get a feel for what you're thinking. So imagine yourself lined up with this group of friends that I have here. Um, so here's the first question. I don't care what people think of me. Agree? Disagree? What do you think? Somewhere in the middle? Number two. I don't care what my friends think of me. Are your friends a little different? Do you care what they think? Agree? Do you disagree? Don't care? Number three. I want my best friends to like me. Agree? Disagree? Where would you line up? Number four. I want everyone to like me. Agree? Disagree? Somewhere in between? Why do you think we care so much? What do the people think about us? I'm not sure. Here's a couple more. I want my friends to like the clothes I wear. Agree or disagree? What do you think? Here's another one. I want my friends to like the activities I choose. Agree? You want them to like it or you disagree? You don't really care. How about I'm willing to try new things to make friends? Agree? Disagree? And the last one. I'm willing to do anything to make friends. Agree? Disagree? Somewhere in the middle? Hmm. Think about where you would stand and how much influence do your friends have on the choices you make and why. I'll tell you, when I was younger, I had a hard time uh, saying my opinions on things because I was afraid of what people would think. Believe it or not, if somebody said, do you like this song? I'd say, what do you think? And if they said, yeah, I like it a lot. I say, yeah, me too. Or if they said, no, it kind of stinks. I'd say, yeah, it kind of stinks. I was too afraid of what they thought of me to um, give my own opinion. It's really kind of silly. So let's see. The Bible has a few things to say about friends. Let's see what it says here in Proverbs 18.24. Proverbs 18.24. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Unreliable friends and ruin. Who do you think the friend is, though, that sticks closer than a brother? Okay. So here's another one we can read. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Do not be misled. 
bad company corrupts good character. Bad company can corrupt you. Don't be fooled. Don't think you can handle it. So, uh, what harmful things might your friends encourage you to do? Think about it. Um, and what can you learn from these verses that might help you choose the right thing to do in, the, in real friends? It's natural to want to fit in with a crowd of friends. That's why it's important to choose our friends carefully. Because friends can be powerful, a powerful influence on us. Real friends can help us to do what's right, even when the right thing may not be the most popular. Real friends don't ask you to do things that are wrong. So you've probably heard people say the expression, just say no. It's not always that easy. But if you're ready for the tough situations, you've got um, reasoning behind your decisions planned out ahead of time, it might be a little bit easier. Um, but it's not always easy to say no. Let's think about a time when you might feel pressured to do something that's wrong. Maybe your friend wants you to come out and play, even though you haven't done your chores. Or maybe your classmate wants to copy your homework. It could be pretty hard. They might even egg you on, call you a chicken, or say, come on, everybody's doing it. But you know what? God will never leave us in a pressure situation without a way out. 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Isn't that great? There's nothing that he's going to give us that's too hard. And he'll always provide a way out. So if somebody tries to pressure you to do something wrong, you should wonder if they are a real friend. Because real friends don't ask you to do things that are wrong. <sighs> Jesus knew what it was like to be a real friend. And we can read about that in John 15, verses 12 and 13. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Jesus wants us to be his friend, and he is the best friend that we could ever have. He just wants us to obey him, love him, and to love others. So remember, real friends don't ask you to do things that are wrong. Real friends help you do what's right. And one of the best ways we can show love for our friends is by encouraging them to love Jesus and do what he wants us to do. So are you being a good friend? Do you maybe um, try to get your friends to do things that are wrong? Real friends don't do that. They don't try to get you to do things that are wrong. We need to remember to be good friends, real friends. And um, God can help us. Let's pray. Dear God, we've learned that real friends don't ask each other to do things that are wrong. Help us to choose friends that will encourage us to follow Jesus. And help us to encourage our friends to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you'll be a good friend this week. And that you'll um, have fun. Have a good week. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.